Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome to The French Seams. This video is going to be about everything I'd like to get made up in August. I'm filming this straight on the back of filming my July makes. I've got everything set up so it's, uh, it's very practical that I just keep going and film two videos in one go. So thank you very, very much for coming back for this video. Um, I have three things I'd like to get made up in August. So not quite as ambitious as my July makes, but um, one of them is a little bit involved, so it might take me a little bit longer. So without further ado, I'll get started. And randomly, all three things this month are from Beyond the Pink Door. Um, so she had, um, Andrea had an open day there um, a few weeks ago. And because Andrea's in Galway and I'm in Dublin, it just wasn't really practical to get down to her. So I was absolutely gutted I couldn't see her beautiful fabric shop. So to cheer myself up, <laughs> I did a blitz on her website and bought some gorgeous stuff. So I've got a few bits and pieces of it here. So the first thing I'd like to get made up is a pair of pajamas. And how gorgeous is this fabric? Oh, it kind of matches my top actually. So this is a cotton jersey and it's little watermelon ice lollies, which I think was absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I, Sewing Bunny Mich Michelle um, has a wonderful site, I'll link her below, but she recently made pyjamas and I'm kind of thinking definitely along the same lines. I had been thinking about it before. So she recommended the top pattern because I, I, I really didn't know which one to make, which is great. So I'm going to make the Tilly and the Buttons um, Juno pyjama trousers with the um, Luna top. Is it called Luna? No, nope, it's called Lego. <laughs> It's the Lego tank from Itch to Stitch, so I had to figure it out because that would have driven me nuts. So it's the Lego tank, which is a lovely just um, sleeveless tank top, um, I think with a, just a neckband and a and cuff band, armband, shoulder band here as well. And I think the two work absolutely perfectly together. So I have made the Tilly and the Buttons um, Juno pyjamas before in this fabulous unicorn fabric that I got from Crafty Studio about uh, early last year, I think. In the... Um, the trousers though, um, they get gathered into a cuff at the bottom and what I think I'd prefer to do is just make them straight to make them a little bit more drapey at the end and I just think that would look really, really cute. So total matchy, matchy pair of pyjamas in um, a, a tank top and a pair of trousers. And I'm kind of hoping that there's a little tiny bit of fabric left over because Waves and Wild, I'm obsessed with Waves and Wild at the minute, they have just put their Eclipse t-shirt on sale. So I think it's three US dollars, no, Aussie dollars, apologies, Aussie dollars. And the Eclipse t-shirt is a children's just plain t-shirt just with a neckband. I think it comes with uh, versions for a hood and also for a dress as well, but it just looks super cute. So I'm hoping I have a little bit of uh, this left over and I'm going to make my little boy a matching t-shirt for the summer, which will look really cute because he does love ice lollies. So this is going to be my first make. I just mi missed the um, the crafty um, the crafty so and so pajama um challenge on Instagram. It was um I think it, it was showcased um the end of last week. So I've literally just missed now for August. But not to worry, a pair of pajamas now will be super fun in this beautiful watermelon ice lolly print. So that's going to be my first make. Hopefully, the second one is going to be in this unbelievable fabric. Check this out. I never would have bought anything like this before, but as soon as I saw it, I just thought it was fabulous. Look at that. Perhaps something to do with my little boy loving animals and us just being back from the zoo. But anyway, so giraffes and zebras and cheetahs and elephants, and it's um, a lovely viscous. So I think I might have to line it, but we'll see how we go. So this fabric is just fabulous. And in this, I would like to make a Davenport dress. So again, Andrea, I, I copied this idea from you. I apologize. I saw your version of the Davenport and I thought it was absolutely beautiful. So it's beautiful frills at the shoulder and it's gathered into um, a little elastic cuff and then it's got a gathered waistband and then it'll gather up the neckline as well. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, somebody did a version with no sleeves, just with a little frill on the shoulders. And during the warm weather, I was like, yeah, I'll make that. It'll be absolutely wonderful summer dress. And then of course the rains came and I said, Rachel, cop yourself on. You live in Ireland, you'll have four days when you can wear that dress, put the sleeves on. So that's what I'm going to do. I think I will have to line the skirt, although I might interline it just to make life slightly easier for myself. But I think this would look really cute during the summer because it's so light. And then hopefully during the autumn, the combo of tights and boots, I think would still work with this. And I think it's just so fun. Yes. <laughs> I think it's just fabulous. Look at that. It was on the line the other day and I just kept looking at it. So it was absolutely wonderful. So this is going to be my second make. And then my final make, make number three, is going to be in this gorgeous broderie anglaise fabric. 
um, in this lovely cornflower blue and it really is cornflower, it's absolutely stunning. So, and this is the Selvage, this beautiful scallop. So, and this is going to be a sagebrush top. So I have made a sagebrush before. Um, I'll pop in a picture. It was lovely um, paisley cotton lawn and the pattern was absolutely beautiful. I really enjoyed making it and I think it's such a gorgeous top and I think it'll look gorgeous in this fabric. So what I'm hoping to do and I'm hoping it does work is alter the pattern slightly so that the scallop comes at the sleeve here and also at the hem. So I'll have to do a little bit of mathematics and measuring against my uh, my other sagebrush to, to work that out because you really don't want to get this wrong at the end. But I think that would look beautiful. Um, I think it would pair really nice with jeans, maybe a little pair of white jeans. I think it would look lovely. The colour is just beautiful. And I don't think it's too holy holy that you'd have to line it. I think you might be okay for a top. Hopefully we'll see how it goes. Might end up wearing a tank top under it. But we'll see how it goes but it's absolutely beautiful this Brody Anglais fabric. Um, Andrea has this in a number of colours actually and different versions of the, the broderie um, so definitely check it out but I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I think that would look, make a really really nice sagebrush top. So I will continue on from the alteration I made the last time to make the sleeves less puffy and I think in this fabric I think as well that would work. I don't think it would look very good if I was just having that at the end having huge big sleeves so I might take them down might take them down a, a notch or two again if you check out um my previous videos I go through what I did to alter the sleeve head to, to make the shoulders um slightly less puffy so I think I will do that again but even for the little ruffle across here you could do something clever by cutting that in the selvage and ruffling that and stuff I think that would look really cute I'm not quite sure how the bias binding for the neckline and the, the tie at the back is going to work in this fabric. It might be a bit tricky. My, my sewing machine might give out a little bit if I sew over a few of the holes, but hopefully it won't be too bad. And I probably will end up hand stitching the, the neckline as well, just to, to give it a really nice finish. So that's what I'm thinking for this fabric. So they're just the three things I have planned for August. So hopefully not too challenging, but um, a few bits and pieces. If you do have um, any recommendations on any of these patterns, if you made them before, please let me know. Um, with the Davenport, definitely, do I need to line it? Do I need to interline it? Anything to look out for? The sagebrush, as I said, I've made before and the pajamas I've made, the, the bottoms, the Juno bottoms and the, the Lego tank, hopefully will be fairly straightforward, but definitely for the, the Davenport, any recommendations you have would be, be really, really useful. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you very much. So those are my three makes. So that was just um, a short and sweet little video really about my August plans. So hoping for nice weather and um, we're heading away again for another few days, which hopefully will be really, really nice. So looking forward to that. And um, Yes, I'll come back to you in a few weeks, hopefully with what I've made. I know I really want to do a sewing room tour and I'm still sorting out a little bit of the storage here. So I, I that is definitely on my list that I want to get that video done and um, upload it for you guys because I just love this sewing space so much and, and want, to, want to show you guys what we've done with it. So yeah, that'll be coming soon, hopefully. Uh, so aside from that, that's all the, the news I have for you. I have two videos in one go, which is great. So it'll take me a few days to edit these, but hopefully get them, get them up and out to you very, very soon. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subs consider subscribing. And thank you very much, everybody, and take care. Bye.